Hi, it's Joshua So, and today I want to go over a cool technique called pitch shift. And this is used for various applications. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples where you can do uh, ambient type of effect uh, for films, as well as for um, uh, music production and EDM music uh, specifically. So stay tuned and we'll dive right in. So I'm going to play you an example of uh, this sound. So you hear the pitch is bending downwards, um, and the way I got that sound is um, maybe a two or three step process, but let's actually hear it in context first. Okay, this is a good way to end a track. Um, what I will do is give you the uh, steps here now. So the source sound is a guitar, um, a, a pick that's scraping against the electric guitar, probably on the very top of the neck where the um, the tuning pegs are. I'm guessing. Okay, so you can hear that. I put a little bit of delay and whatnot, but that's generally um, the original source. And then I wanted to make it even more so echoey so I added more delay and then I think I pitched bend down a little bit on this one as well let's listen so you can kind of hear on the tail that it pitch it pitch bends down I'm not I think what I did here is I used an effect like a ping pong uh, delay effect that pitch shifts down um, naturally or um, intentionally through the plugin I used but the real pitch shift that I'm using is more drastic. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that now. Going um, to this sound, I am going to process it with um, a direct offline processing, and I'm going to use pitch shift. Now, there are two tabs. It's probably going to show up as the transpose but you want to go into envelope. By the way, I'm using Cubase Pro and this feature I think is only available for Cubase Pro. Um, um, but your other DAWs might have a feature similar to this. All right, going on, so um, there's a graph here that gives you um, some options. You can actually pitch shift up or down. So let's listen if I pitch shift up for a second. All right, cool, right? It's just very high pitch. Um, if you look down here, I, I'm going to keep it around a range of 12 semitones, which is an octave from uh, from uh, up and down of the original pitch. So um, let, let's play around with this a little bit. Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to hear uh, on the tail, but it does go up a little bit. I'm going to go more so you can hear that. Cool. All right, but more of a practical application for um, uh, this type of electro chill sound that I'm, I'm going for. I'm just going to use this effect here. Okay, so we can kind of do that to taste. Okay, so that, that's uh, for me, I like that. I'm going to apply it. Okay. So something like that to get a sound and that gives you some a sense of closure when you pitch down like that uh, towards the end of the music. So that is one way. Um, feel free to also um, actually do the whole entire track. So this is the entire track itself. Now um, feel free to pitch shift the entire track and, and this is really fun to play around with. Right, um, it already sounds like a vinyl track uh, slowing down. Here's another way. Right, speeding up. So you can use that to taste for different effects. The other idea is more towards record producing or record making. And on um, on the side of electronic dance music, you actually can do some really cool stuff. So let me give you this example now. All right, so example two involves a speed down approach with this pitch shift function. All 
Cool. So you get the idea. You probably have heard that trick before. So I'll show you how to achieve that through Cubase's uh, pitch shift function. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and mute the original files. I'll keep the kick loop going. Okay, so this is um, kind of the raw files here. We'll go to um, first this one. And on the beat four, I want to I want the sound to drop for a second. So we'll go back to our processes, our pitch shift function, and then let's go ahead and use this envelope. I'm gonna actually start higher and then bring it down lower, and then you can preview that. All right. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's see if I can go even higher. Okay, so let's apply that. All right, so far so good. And this little spot here is um, a, a, a chord stab. All right, but I'm gonna use this technique to really make it sound like there's a, a tape just, or, or vinyl or tape slowing down. So same thing, pitch shift, let's listen to this. All right, and you know, you can go to taste. Um, here's another sound. Okay, that might sound even better. So let's apply that. Good. Alright, so that's the idea. Um, let's put that in context with everything else. Okay, good. Alright, one last trick here is I want to reverse um, that little spot. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then let's go ahead and bounce that track. Okay. And then we're going to reverse it. Um, processes, reverse. Okay, and essentially what's happening is you're gonna, everything's reversing. So right now it's going from uh, a high note and then you're pitching down. This is actually going to go pitch down and then go, uh, sorry, you're going to start low and then you're going to pitch up and bend upwards. Everything's reversed. So that, that um, I don't have to do any processing is already there okay cool let's put that in context okay cool and then um, it wouldn't hurt to maybe roll off some of this by using the fades and and getting it so it's not so abrupt sounding There you go. That's the pitch shift technique. Uh, pair that with the delays, um, reverb, panning, uh, automations in the volume, and all of a sudden you can really create some cool ear candy effects. Um, again, it's, it's, it's used in wide applications from film to sound design in games to EDM music and pop music. So. Um, have fun with that little trick. If you liked this video and you think you learned something, please click on the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.